that's pretty crazy. You know, it's all kind of a full circle. I, I started with John, uh, you know, when I came to WWE, uh, and now he's, uh, he's going to be my partner against Sammy. Like you said, you know, like what me and Sammy have had so much history, uh, in WWE, you know, uh, let alone our entire careers. Uh, but to be in that kind of situation now together, uh, it's all just so surreal. Um, but man, I'm just, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just grateful for the chance I get to experience that stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know, maybe I'll have to, uh, go back to my old tricks and put somebody through a table. Who knows? You know, I, uh, I'll do, uh, if I do it, just know it's, it's all, uh, it's a tribute to you. Mojo. <laughs> well, definitely a good move. I, I know how much that hurts first. <laughs> so yeah, like you said, kind of a full mat, uh, full, full circle match for you. You kind of started, out with with Cena when you came up uh, to the main roster after being NXT champ, the just the run that you've had with Sammy has been absolutely incredible. That has evolved and turned so many different times, and just you're, you know, regardless, you guys have found a way to make it so entertaining through the years, which can be so difficult when you talk about having you know that much that much airtime with with the same person. I got to ask though. You're more excited to, to tag with Cena? This, of course, extending his streak of consecutive years where he's done at least one match in the ring with the WWE or more excited to, to get your hands on Sammy? You know, uh, like you said, I've, 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 uh, I've been uh, across the ring from Sammy quite a few times. I've never, uh, or at least, man, I'm pretty sure I've never teamed with Cena. Uh, you know, but those live events sometimes, <laughs> like, you got it for, but uh, I don't think I've ever teamed with John. I've certainly never teamed with John on a uh, on this on a, something of this scale of this magnitude, um, and it's uh, it's great. You know, uh, it's always cool too because uh, me and and my son will always have like a little bond over John Cena because my son, as he was growing up, was a huge John Cena fan. When I signed my WWE contract, I told my son like uh, maybe I'll get to wrestle John Cena one day, and then I did, and he got to meet John and all this stuff. And this was several years ago. Now Owen's fifteen, but um, he's uh, you know he's still excited that you know John's coming around, so they're gonna come to the show in Tampa so he can watch it, and it's cool. You know, it's a, a cool little thing to share with my son anytime John's involved, because uh, my son, you know, he likes WWE, but he's not an avid fan like I was growing up. But anytime John kind of comes back around, it piques his interest. And now I get to team with him. So it's cool. He saw us fight each other. Now he's going to get to see me team with him. It's a, it's a neat little thing, you know? Yeah, Kevin, what is it like being around somebody and working now with somebody like John, who is this, I mean, he's, he's larger than life, right? It, it extends outside of the wrestling universe. I mean, he is, he's just John Cena. What, what's it like being with somebody like that? Man, uh, the thing about it is it's so... Um, John is so passionate about what we do and always has been from the moment I met him from the moment we start working together. And that's by far, no matter what he does today and uh, you know, the movies and, and the TV shows and everything he's accomplished. The one thing that was always, always strike me or that I always uh, look back on fondly the most about John is no matter where we were, uh, no matter what he had going on in life and his career, whatever, if he was at a show, whether it was a live event, a TV show, whatever, if he wasn't in the ring, he was watching the monitor, watching other people do their thing uh, because his passion for what we do is uh, nearly unmatched. And I say nearly unmatched because I think Triple H has the same kind of passion as John. Yeah. But besides those two, I really can't think of anybody else that is as passionate for this industry as, you know, as they are. I would like to think I'm a third, um, a close third, yeah. but I can't, I'm not, you know, it's, they're on another level. And, uh, you know, anytime John would come around, I, I would, I would, uh, you know, relish the opportunity to get to sit with them, watch the show, talk about wrestling because there's not that many people that, that are like him. And like, like I said, like I'm, I'm pretty much obsessed with this stuff to the point where it was hard for me to find people that I could talk about this with, because eventually everybody would go like, Oh God, we really talk about wrestling again. John is never like that, you know? So uh, it's great to have him back. Uh, if anything, just for that. You, know? you guys must have great conversations with each other as much as you both love this sport. 
it really just it just really revolves around wrestling like yeah. uh you know the last text message i got from him a few days ago was just i love wrestling in all caps unprompted just you know so that's awesome. that speaks for itself yeah because with a guy like that you don't ever really have to worry about ring rust going into uh to a big match of course roman reigns on the run of his life just absolutely doing great things in the the wwe it would normally be a little concerning for a guy that hasn't been in the ring for a year but right. with john cena with all the experience he has you're probably feeling pretty good about this match going in and not like as crazy as it sounds to say with a guy like cena where you know you're gonna have to be in there really mixing it up and and leading the charge yeah i'm not too worried about him carrying his weight or not you know i think it'll be all right <laughs> You're like, come on, John, let's do it. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll let you go, Kevin. Uh, anything, uh, anything like message, anything you'd say to the fans uh, as they get ready to watch this, uh, the, the final SmackDown on December 30th? Obviously, again, once more, Kevin Owens and John Cena taking on former best friend turned enemy Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. What can the fans look forward to, Kevin? I mean, I think it speaks for itself. The four guys are in the ring. And for us, uh, you know, for me and Sammy, uh, just to be uh, in that kind of, uh, it, it's just great for our story. You know, we've done so much together and against each other in, in, in WWE. Uh, it's a great, it's great to add that chapter to our, 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 our rivalry. But uh, yeah, I think people, you know, know what to expect. And it's going to be a special night for sure.